Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to an online battle of Total War Rome 2. My opponent today is Epic Reality Dude. I already have a video uploaded with him in an online battle on my channel and this is the second battle with him. Um, this is a bridge battle. I am the Iceni tribe and he is Athens. And as you can see I've deployed my men and I've actually switched them all around now because I thought he'd be across the water across the river opposite me but it turns out that he's actually the other side of the battlefield so I'm having to adjust myself to get around now and bring all my men to face him so it takes a while for me to actually get them into position it's actually my first ever bridge battle on Rome Total War 2 or Total War Rome 2 and as you can see we have a little conversation on Steam right now and I can confirm to him there as well that I haven't had a bridge battle like this. So the battle continues. Bring my main line of infantry forward. And I bring him up now to... Uh, I look at his, uh, his men in the over the cross the river to begin with. Look what type of units they are. I think I go with my slingers to begin with. Let's see. What did I do? I'm trying to remember this battle. This was a few days ago I fought it, and I have fought a few battles since then, so I do apologise, but I'm just trying to remember. Oh, that's right. I, I clicked over there because I thought I could get across the river, but I couldn't, so instead I had to bring them all forward. I was just working that out, and I bring them up now to support my main, my main force. I bring my three slinger units forward. To, um, to attack the enemy across the river. And a quick question for you guys. How are you guys finding in Total War Room 2? What graphics are you running? Um, has the patch done anything to help your game out? Let me know. Um, the patch has helped me slightly, I must admit. I was playing on lower medium settings. I'm getting away with medium settings all around now. I even got unit detail up to high on my campaign. So my next Carthage video will have unit detail on high and the frame rate hasn't dropped too much so I think it's getting slightly better but let me know how it's going um, and let, let me know what uh, system you've got as well, what, you, what your current rig is it's quite a slow battle to begin with no actual action to talk about yet just bringing everyone forward. I can see that he has units on my side of the river further on up, so I know I need to counteract this as well. So what I do, I, I select my five units that are in a group and I bring them right forward and they are going to be the men I intend to use on him on that flank. I now have got my slingers into position and I bring them right forward to attack the enemy and to also discover a few more units of his. I select three units and I bring them forward as well because I've just spotted that he has actually a lot more units than I anticipated on, the, on my side of the river. I bring my secret band spearmen forward to support my archers, my slingers. I bring my chariots around the flank trying to surprise him now on that right flank. And my slinger is doing a pretty good job so far, just getting some shots in for me. Get them all on quick reload. Get them all attacking. Mercenary Cretan archers, interesting. I bring more spearmen units forward now, three of them. Because he has more units on that left flank as well. So he's divided his forces. He pretty much has half his force on one side of the river and the other half on the other side of the river. My deployment zone is only this side of the river though, so I can only deploy in this one area. My men are slowly going to position. He has five units over this side. Two of them are missile units 
One of them is the general, and the other two are infantry units. They will bleed for us. So I'm just dividing my forces as well, making sure I have uh, sufficient numbers on each flank. Use quick reload again. I bring my spearman forward now to soak up some of the pressure and to stop him from actually crossing. If he intends to cross, that is, of course. So just bring them all forward now. Using the archers as cover. The, sorry, not the archers, the slingers as cover. And I'm forming a nice line now to counteract his men that are advancing towards me on that flank. And there we are, my men are hidden now on that right flank. He hasn't uh, just hasn't seemed to notice or realise it, so I'm bringing them up as well now to try and box them in on that right flank. I've just uh, wavered his one unit of uh, slingers, or archery, probably archers, or yeah, Cretan, ar Cretan archers. Routed one of his Cretan archers. We're starting to duck good on the left flank now. I'm just bringing all my men up now to reinforce. And this is where I just pile all my units in now onto his right flank, which is enclosing on me as well. But the cavalry is proving key yet again. Little ploy I like to do in my online battles is to make sure I have cavalry on at least one of the flanks and to use them wisely at the right time. This is what happens here. I bring in all my infantry to attack his infantry. I put their special abilities on, so headhunt and frenzy. And my cavalry can just go flying in now. Second wind being applied, and all of them can attack. These three can push right up as well to reinforce. As you can see, our left flank is wavering now. We actually got a few men wavering. So I get quick reload on and I keep firing into the enemy. I bring another unit of uh, spearmen forward. I bring two, uh, one unit of spearmen forward. I bring my swordsmen forward as well. But I, I feel a lot more confident at this stage of the battle knowing that the right flank should be secure. And I should have men left over to help me take the left flank as well. I use shield wall. And I dive straight in again with my men. Try and take out his men. And there we go. My sling is now diving in. Get as many rounds or more like rocks. Rocks is about the thing I throw, isn't it? Get as many rocks towards the enemy as they can. We've dealt with their cavalry now. Well, the Royal Guard. The Royal Guard unit. And I can just keep on harassing their slingers. The slingers tried to run away, but my cavalry soon will eat them up. I divide my forces now on the right flank. I bring a few of them back and leave the rest to deal with his archers. Along with my cavalry. Which have just finished up his his royal guard unit. And here we go. Shield wall and frenzy. Get them all to dive in. We dive right in again now with my slingers. He's starting to cross the river now, but we have the numerical advantage to just throw men at him. And that's exactly what happens here. Just bringing them all across now. Let's start bringing the infantry forward. The spearmen, the swordsmen. Heroic nobles, all of my units of the Iceni tribe, 
just descend upon Athens now. Throwing them all forward. And here we go. Marching across the river. The river crossing. And they're all starting to waver. And that's pretty much the end of this battle. So I hope you've all enjoyed this battle. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye. I'll just leave you all with the statistics. Bye for now.